And if you watched our 50 Shades of Grey video, you'll know that one of the warm grey types is actually red grey, or rouge grey. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about the colour type you've never heard of. Well, for those of you that are loyal Paint People subscribers, you may be familiar with the red-gray paint colors, but I bet you haven't heard what I call them. I'm actually more proud of this name than I am the term Greenage, which I coined. In today's video, we're going to look at, <laughs> I can't even say it, five awesome Gruge colors. That's a combination of gray and rouge. So good. Like the video for that awesome term and let's just get on with it. Gray paint is a pretty complicated situation because you're not only dealing with varying degrees of depth or darkness in the form of light reflectance value, not only are you worried about gray being warm or cool, but you also have different types of warmth and different types of coolness within your gray paint colors. It's really a lot to take in sometimes. And if you watched our 50 Shades of Gray video, you'll know that one of the warm gray types is actually red gray or rouge gray. I love me some gruge. Gruges aren't quite as popular as grayges, and that's because a lot of your quintessential neutral colors that have been in circulation this past decade are all more yellow or beige leaning. But that being said, red warmed grays are a wonderful alternative that is actually pretty easy to implement in a lot of cases. Red grays are kind of cut from the same cloth as taupe, brown, and of course red. They all just seem to have a really interesting earthy quality to them that I find to be pretty compelling. So let's get this list started with the first color on the list called Wish. To me, Wish is a great entry point into the world of red gray. The red within it could easily be mistaken for a chocolatey brown color, which is more passive of an undertone that is perhaps a bit more flexible. It also has a pretty solid LRV, just under 60, which many designers agree is a fantastic range for a wall color specifically. Around that 60 mark, you're never going to feel like the color is too light and modest, yet it still is on the lighter side of mid-tone colors, which means no matter what space you use it in, it won't feel like a dark, spooky, haunted house. I don't know if a room could feel like a whole haunted house, but I just mean dark. That's what I get for being creative. I'm gonna label Wish as my gateway gruge for anyone that's curious about what this color type brings to the table. What if you wanted a similar color, but perhaps was a little more light and fluffy feeling? My next option would be a la mode, 2109-70. I wouldn't say this is the lighter equivalent to Wish, probably because they do obviously share some characteristics by being a grugey type of color. It's kind of a warm gray, but has no real signs of yellow happening. And that's the benefit of these types of colors. The more beige and yellow a gray has, it can have a tendency to sometimes show a bit of green, which is fine, but isn't always for everyone. You don't get that here. Because of the red undertone, a la mode can sometimes show the slightest rosy hue in the deep background. And that's fairly common with a lot of these types of colors, but not to a fault where it's going to scream pink on the walls. The 77 LRV on a la mode means it would be a suitable wall color choice in areas that don't get a ton of light because it is going to reflect more of the light that does hit it. And you could also think of it as a possible trim color choice for some comparatively darker wall colors, some of which we may speak about today. Spoiler, maybe even the next color actually. Stone Harbor 2111-50. This is one of my personal favorites and it has been for quite some time. Maybe because I'm a sucker for anything related to taupe. This is certainly the darkest color we've touched on today so far with an LRV in the low 40s. It still makes it a mid-tone, but on the darker side of things. When you have darker colors like this, it usually equates to more colorant within the paint itself. And that's coming from a former paint mixer. When you have more of that tint, more of that colorant, that can sometimes translate to stronger saturation in color hue. But of the darker gruge colors out there, Stone Harbor feels pretty neutral. And it's bit of red just peeks through a much larger abundance of taupe or brown and gray mixed together. It's not clearly red or even rosy, but compare it to a more green toned gray like Thunder, you can really start to see the difference between those undertones. This color has enough depth to it where it will be a subtle statement color, if that's a thing. It's still within the neutral color palette, but it's just a bit different from the Revere Pewters of the world. Not that there's anything wrong with them. The next color, we're going to turn up the red a little bit more with a color called Portland Gray. Even though this color is called gray, 
If you know anything about basketball, the Portland Trailblazers, their jerseys are red. So that's what you can expect here. I'm renaming this color to Portland Grouch because there's no denying the red undertone in this one. It's an interesting combination of red and gray because even though it's technically warm, it does have a slight frosty quality to it. Maybe because it's kind of looking like a chocolate milkshake to me. The light reflectance value on this one is 61.22, which again is in that nice little sweet spot for wall colors. And by the way, if you don't know what LRV is, it just stands for light reflectance value, which is a zero to 100 scale representing the percentage of light that color reflects. Hit that like button if you already knew that though. What I wanna do here is bring up the first color we spoke about, Wish, and put these two side by side. They both are very similar in depth, but you can already see how Portland Gray is giving that rosy, grugy undertone with a little more prominence. I love the way this color looks. Keep in mind that the more red a gray has, especially in cooler lighting, the more likely a purple color will start to come through. It's the opposite of the green you would get with grayish under those lighting conditions. Finally, let's end off with a beautiful neutral color that has an extremely straightforward name, one that doesn't really hint at it being red at all, but it definitely has it in its undertones. The color is called Stone 2112-40, and it is a 22 and a half LRV taupe that brings in brown, red, and a slight gray mixed into one beautiful, never fail neutral. It's bold, yet still feels like an old faithful color that we all know and love. And I guess it's because it was inspired by nature. To me, it almost seems like all of the colors from my granite countertops mixed into one is this color. Great choice to use on furniture, cabinets, accent walls, or if you're feeling stone cold, using it on an entire room to spice things up. For our video on the blue or cool leaning grays, which I admittedly didn't have a cool name for, you can check it out right over here and yellow grays are the last ones in the pipeline.